Rosie's Big Splash Rainy days on the island of Sodor can be wet and cold. The engines have to work hard through the rain. They hated working in the rain. No engine wanted to go out, but passengers and trucks would be waiting. Rosie the purple tank engine loves the rain. She thinks the rain is wonderful and thinks it's fun to play in. Rosie puffed into Knapford Station where Emily and the Fat Controller were waiting. Emily was pleased to be in the shelter of the station. Ram, she sighed. I hate it when it rains. I do, smiled Rosie. You can feel the rain on your tanks and your boiler. Emily thought Rosie was being silly. The Fat Controller spoke to Rosie. I sure you like to play in the rain, Rosie, he said. Oh yes sir, I do, smiled Rosie. Then I need you to go out to the coaling plant to collect some coal trucks, explained the Fat Controller. The stations are low on coal and they need to keep their fires going. Please get the coal delivered on time. Yes sir, right away sir, puffed Rosie. Before Rosie could puff away, Emily spoke to her. There's more rain on the way, she warned. Please make sure they're in the shed before the storm arrives. Pah! scoffed Rosie. A little water never hurt anyone. And Rosie puffed away before Emily could answer. Rosie raced towards the coaling plant. As she puffed along, she felt the rain pitter patter on her tanks. A small trickle of water ran down her nose and dripped onto her buffers. Ha! Emily's afraid of the rain! she laughed to herself. Rosie puffed happily into the coaling plant where Hector the truck was waiting. The workmen had put covers over the trucks so the coal wouldn't get wet. Hector had news for Rosie. You must deliver your trucks as fast as you can, he explained. The storm is due to arrive late this afternoon. Don't worry Hector, said Rosie. I love the rain and it won't stop me. And Rosie set up with her trucks of coal. Be careful, Rosie, called Hector. It's very wet. But Rosie had already gone. The rain poured down, and the trucks rattled along the track. But Rosie was enjoying the rain. She thought nothing was more fun than playing in the rain. I love the rain, she said. I wish it could be more fun. Then Rosie looked up ahead. On the tracks was a puddle. This gave Rosie an idea. She raced forward towards the pole and went splash! Water flew everywhere. Rosie giggled. That was fun! She smiled. But the trucks didn't like this at all. The water went in their faces. They grumbled as Rosie raced along. Soon, Rosie raced into the airfield. Harold was waiting. He was surprised. You're wet, Rosie! He cried. Rosie told Harold all about the puddle she splashed through. Harold was stern. You better hurry, Rosie. The storm's not far away now, said Harold. And stay away from puddles. Don't worry, Harold, smiled Rosie. A little rain is nothing to be afraid of. Just then Henry puffed in with his passengers. He grumbled dreadfully. Water, water everywhere, he groaned. Will it ever stop raining? Nonsense, Henry, said Rosie. It's only a little water. And Rosie puffed away with her trucks. Once you've entered a test to a train, was afraid of a few drops of rain. Henry snorted. He didn't like being teased about the time he raced into the tunnel so he could keep his coat of paint dry. Rosie raced down the track as fast as she could to the next station. But the trucks decided to pay Rosie back for splashing them. They decided to wait until after they left the next station. Then Rosie saw another puddle. Here I can, she cried, and she charged for the puddle. Toby was puffing towards Rosie from the upper track. As Toby passed the puddle, Rosie splashed through it. Whee! she cheered. Toby was covered in water. He was cross. Rosie will be in trouble soon, he said to his driver, and Rosie was. Soon after she had delivered coal to Edward Station, she was on her way again. Rosie raced up Gordon's Hill. The rain poured down even more and the truck giggled and rattled. When Rosie reached the top, the truck saw their chance. On, 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 they shouted. Rosie soon found herself racing down the hill too fast. Help, 
she cried, I can't stop! But no one heard her. Rosie screamed down the track towards the valley. Up ahead there was a dip in the track, and in the dip was a very big puddle. It was bigger than the other puddles. When Rosie rounded the corner, she saw the puddle and headed for it. Well there, Rosie, called her driver, and he applied the brakes, but it was too late. Rosie splashed into the puddle and water flew everywhere. The trucks laughed and laughed. Look at you, all soaking wet. We'll have to haul you out with a net. Rosie felt very wet indeed. She was up to her boiler in water. She tried to puff out of the water, but she couldn't. Oh no, she wished. I can't move. Your fire has gone out, explained her driver. We're stuck. The fireman brayed through the water and ran back to the station to telephone for help. When the fat controller heard the news, he sent Emily to help Rosie. Rosie is stuck in a puddle, she laughed. What a predicament. When Emily arrived, she saw what had happened. Boop, boop, whistled Emily. Hello, Rosie, I'll pull you out. Emily pulled away the unhurt trucks and shunted them into a siding. Then her driver tied the cable from Emily to Rosie. Then Emily pulled Rosie out of the puddle. Rosie was very relieved to be rescued. Thank you, Emily, she smiled. That's all right, Rosie, smiled Emily. Now let's get the rest of the coal delivered. Rosie agreed. So Emily's driver put some of her dry coal into Rosie's boiler, and soon Rosie was making steam again. Then the two friends double-headed the train together. Together they delivered the coal to the stations just in time. After they delivered the last load, they raced back to Tidmouth Sheds. The rain was getting heavier. Both engines raced as fast as they could. Then Rosie saw a puddle up ahead. Before Rosie could race towards it, Emily called out, Rosie, no! Rosie knew Emily was right. I think you've had enough puddle splashing for one day, said Emily. Yes, Emily, agreed Rosie. Come on, back to the shed, puffed Emily. So Rosie followed Emily back to the sheds. They reached Tidmouth Sheds just in time. As the drivers closed the doors, lightning flashed and thunder crashed. The two engines were relieved to be in the shed. Phew, sighed Emily. Rosie decided to talk to Emily. I'm sorry I laughed at you, she apologised. I didn't know rain could cause a lot of trouble. That's all right, Rosie, said Emily. Remember, rain can be fun to play in, but it can also cause a lot of trouble if you're not careful. Remember that next time. I'll try, Emily, smiled Rosie. As the rain poured down, the two engines watched as the rain trickled down the window. Water, water everywhere, smiled Emily. Enough to make a big splash, smiled Rosie. The two engines laughed and laughed. They were pleased to be in the nice dry shed. And Rosie learnt that the rain may be fun to play in, but it can also cause trouble for the Fat Controller's Railway.